Redlands Mall was a mall in Redlands, California that opened in 1977 and closed in 2010. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The Redlands Mall first opened for business in 1977. The city of Redlands was originally known as the Orange Empire, and it was in the center of the world's largest naval orange growing region for more than 75 years. Because of its diverse population and rich history, it is now known as the jewel of the Inland Empire. The Redlands Mall was located on approximately 11 acres bound by Orange Street, Redlands Boulevard, Eureka Street, and Citrus Avenue. The site was located at the intersection of State Street and Orange Street, an intersection that, from its earliest beginnings, was downtown's most important corner. The mall's location sat on land that was once occupied by the La Pasado Hotel, which was built in 1931, and the first national bank, which was built in 1914. Following World War II, Redlands commercial built environment underwent profound changes. New construction expanded well beyond the original downtown commercial district. Meanwhile, many existing buildings within the original commercial core were demolished, making way for construction on various scales. Single buildings on single lots, multi-parcel parking lots, and shopping center occupying one or more entire blocks. Chief among these was the Redlands Mall. Completed in 1977, the mall was built according to urban renewal principles of the 1960s and 1970s of clearing away underperforming obsolete buildings to make room for expanded civic centers, apartments, and new retail, typically in the form of shopping malls. The development of the mall resulted in the leveling of six downtown blocks, including the first National Bank building, the La Posada Hotel, and the Redlands Elks Club, as well as numerous stores and businesses. Planned with the intention of revitalizing downtown Redlands, the two-story mall contained more than 173,000 square feet of enclosed leasable space, including a space for a department store anchor, and a 12,586 square foot freestanding retail building at the corner of Orange Street and Redlands Boulevard. The mall was anchored by a Harris department store, as well as a 12,000 square foot Savon's drug. The Redlands Mall had problems from the outset it was considerably smaller than other enclosed malls built around the same time, such as Riverside's Tyler Mall and the Carousel Mall in the Inland Center Mall in San Bernardino. The all cinder block brick design was criticized for not reflecting the design elements it replaced in its surrounding area. Among the stores that used to be at this mall included Blue Chip Cookies, Hot Dog on a Stick, an arcade called Flipper Flapper, GameStop, Ruby's Bangles, Eyewear Specialists, Ritman's Tux and Bridal, and Hayden Brothers Coffee. Please leave your comments below and help me fill in the rest of the stores that once was in this mall. The mall also had over 900 parking spaces, plus a large underground parking structure. 
Through the mid-1990s, the mall was showing signs of weakness, with most popular stores being replaced by independent tenants. In 1998, the original tenant, Harris, closed after the Harris Gottschalk's acquisition took place that same year. The store would reopen as Gottschalk's. The mall started struggling in the early 2000s when sales dropped and mall attendance waned. In fact, by the mid-2000s, the mall was considered a dead mall. In 2007, Save on Drugs closed due to it being acquired by CVS Drugs. It would reopen as CVS Pharmacies. In 2009, Gottschalks filed for bankruptcy and closed all of its stores, including the Redlands Mall location. After Gottschalks closed, which had been the cornerstone at the Redlands Mall, the remaining tenants felt that they could continue on with business. One tenant stated, This mall doesn't have too much traffic, but the people that do come in, come to buy. How many stores do we have in the area that are like the ones in this mall? None. The stores here offer specific services and sell things you can't find in other stores in Redlands. The next year, Redlands Mall tenants, about six in all, received a letter dated August 2nd informing them that their leases were being terminated and that they needed to exit their stores by the close of business September 30th. Thereafter, the Redlands Mall would be closed. Since its closure in 2010, the mall has sat empty with city planners and property owners working on plans to revitalize the area. The former mall has changed ownership with several times with developers telling the city its goal is to convert the mall into a mixed-use facility with retail locations and apartments. Today, a CVS pharmacy with a separate entrance on the east side of the mall is the only active business in the building. I visited this mall in 2023, 13 years after the mall closed, and the mall still looks the same as it had when it closed. The signage is still there, but the entrances are all boarded up and fences are in place to keep people out. The mall is a large empty building in an area with small offices, hair salons, and independent and chain retailers. An imprint of the Gottschalk sign is still visible on the west side of the mall, and homeless people frequently seek shelter near the locked, darkened doors. Developers have planned to put a three to four story housing unit on the site to blend in with the aesthetics of the area, and demolition plans for the mall is slated for summer of 2023. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was three, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.